Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today I'm going to be playing Scrap Mechanics. It's one of my favorite games. If you've been watching, I've been playing with um, AC Gamer a lot. And I wanted to go ahead and try to make my own world. Now, the reason I say that is because it is very laggy for me. My computer just can barely handle the game as it is. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get my bar set up so that we can make a craft. And um, then find a place where we will build our home and then go from there. So, first off, I always put my lift and then I put my control tool gonna whatever block I'm gonna make my vehicle out of which I like these construction style beams and then one that and then we also need the things to allow us to drive uh, bearings I like to use suspension and then we'll use big wheels and I'm trying to think if I need anything else um, oh I need a seat and then the engine that we're going to use. I'm going to use an electric engine because it's not too loud. It's rather easy to um, control and it won't flip the vehicle. In most cases, it'll allow it to... Um, um, let's go... Let's see. One. Oh. Two. And then we need one of these bars. So, uh, yep. Yeah because I'm too close there we go and we need probably another one of these right here and here we'll go ahead and put a seat down I really like this game it reminds me it doesn't remind me of Space Engineer so much it's just that the ability to create things and um, and by creating those things you are essentially did I make this too big nope oh, let's go back on that that one right there there we go we have our seat now we need to place our engine which I'm going to go ahead and place it kind of underneath Bill let me <laughs> it's not wanting me to place it like that I guess so let's go ahead and um Go ahead and come out this way and we'll do the same thing on this side and I guess we'll put let's go we can use our arrows to raise this so I'll go ahead and just make a floor for it and um, this may not look good <laughs> right now and it may not actually not look good when it's done but um, I always like just playing around, trying to figure out what I want to do. And um, usually comes out the way I like it. So we can actually go ahead and cover that. And... Oh. Using Q to turn the block. There we go. Actually, do we need that? And then motors. Okay. Hmm. You know, we actually don't need these side blocks at all. We could just go ahead and um, do this. Okay, there we go. Nothing fell off, so that, <laughs> that means we're good. Um, we want to replicate in the back the same thing. And I'm going to go ahead and take this off of here and put it back on there. So hopefully it will find the center of gravity and allow me to work back here now. I think, what was it? It was two of these. One, two, yep. So one, two... Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Oh, I had it. I had it. There we go. Two, go across. Okay. 
All right, and then we're going to put a second engine in. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I, I guess it had three going across. So let's go ahead and put in that third one. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and make it kind of nice by just putting these round blocks here. There we go. And do the same thing in the front. And then on the other side as well. Oh, I always hate the, <laughs> that they are, um, they don't, um, duplicate on each side. Am I? Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes it work the way I want it to. So then we're going to go ahead and come out. Um, let's see. We'll go ahead and come out that way. And then we'll go ahead and put these here. Uh, those are facing the wrong way. There we go. Do the same thing on the back here. And then also do the same thing with um, going upward here. All right. So there's our frame. It will allow us to uh, control everything that we want to control. And so the next thing is putting on the suspension. Um, so I like to put um, the long suspension on something that's going to be wide base. And then I like to put two wheels on each um, hub. So I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. There we go. There we go. Do this on all four again. And the reason we're doing that is because on the bottom here. <laughs> there we go. On the front, we're going to put bearings. And this is how we're going to be able to turn. There we go. And since this was the last way that we did it, we should be able to do this in two turns. There we go. Now we put bearings on the ends of these. Uh, this is going to have a high center of, um, is it balance? High center. Either way, it's going to be pretty tall. So we may flip just because of how big this is. But we're going to try to do what we can not to. So now we put on the wheels. And this is what I mean by a double hub. So we're going to put another one of those on. And do the same thing on all four uh, tires. So go ahead and put that there. And... Um, our vehicle is almost done. All we have to do is hook it up so that we can oh, go ahead and press escape if you don't want to play something down and have to remove it. Now you can go as many wheels as you want on this. Uh, it really depends on what you're wanting to do. There we go. Now we need to hook these up once we have all of this um, where we want it so this is how I want it to look um, you take this tool which is the number two for me and before you hook anything up you want to make sure that you hook the engines to the steering wheel steering wheel is a green 
engines are orange I think engines connecting to bearings are also orange go ahead and do that then you want the bearings uh, that are for the steering to also go to the steering wheel there you go and right click them so they're going the opposite way so that should be going that way and that should be going that way also you need to do the same thing for the wheels here because they're usually opposite now if you ever play besieged besiege also does the same thing I don't, I don't understand why but it it does so um just think about besiege whenever you're uh setting up your wheels for some reason it's going to always do that so we'll go ahead and turn these and that and that my friends is our very first vehicle so let's go ahead and um i'm going to just put a normal small block in my hand it makes it easier to want to go ahead and test out the steering Apparently I didn't do the steering for both wheels, so I can actually stand up here. Okay, apparently I did. Hmm. Why is that not working? Okay, let's go ahead and put it back on the lift. And uh, take a look at this. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and detach this. And retach it. Get back on here. And for some reason, okay, okay, I know what the problem is. Everything is working back here, it looks like. All right, so here's the problem, and um, I'll, I'll just show it to you. Okay, grab this, put it back down. So apparently, if I'm not mistaken, well, nope, I am mistaken, I guess. Okay, it's working correctly. Now, if I put the lift right here. Tap it up a little bit. There we go. Put one wheel on there. That's all we're going to put on there. Alright. Let's go ahead and change this to the correct direction. That's going the correct direction. Let's go ahead and put that there. Hook that back up to here. Okay, it's working. Alright, so now I need to go ahead and put my second wheel on here. There we go. Make sure everything's co connected correctly. And I'm going to go ahead and boost the engines up a little bit. One, two, three. One, two, three. Everything's turning. All right. <laughs> this is nice and slow. So this is not the speed we want to go. Let's go ahead and pump it up just a little bit more. Don't want it to go too fast because it has a lot of torque. And... Um, and it makes the wheels grab really nicely. So, I mean, it's nice for that. Um, I see a silo over there. Uh, what we're looking for is um, a launch pad. And then we're not going to actually make our home there. We're just going to 
have a launch pad nearby because at some point we are going to try to go to the skybox um, and there's several different ways that you can do that uh, one of them being a rocket uh, another one being um, other ways <laughs> Uh, I know for a fact that you can make an elevator, and um, I'm not seeing one. I actually want, actually want to build on a hill, like that hill up there. Let's go ahead and go that way. Now, it's up to you guys. I'm not going to make the house today. I'm, I'm not even going to start on it. I'm just looking for the place to put it. Um, actually, that hill over there looks nice too. But what I'm looking for, what I'm um, wanting from you is, do you want the house to be movable, like a um, Breaking Bad style um, mobile home, or do you want it to be something where it uh, is stationary and we can build onto it, build different kinds of um, garages and so on? So the reason, by the way, I like this style of vehicle with the electric engines is if I do this slowly, I should be able to go straight up this without any problems. Oh, just don't want to fall off. Oh, we're getting into the bed. Butter zone. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I should have made this all-wheel drive, which means that uh, the back wheels turn, but um, that's okay. We can actually make it back up here if we go over this route, I think. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. That's all right. We'll go ahead and pick it up and get back over to the other side. If our little guy uh, can do it. Plurp. Oh, did I, did I drop it? I dropped it. Okay. <laughs> I think we can pop it down right at the top of the sill. We should be able to be fine. Land? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Made a nice, decent little vehicle straight off the bat. It'll allow us to get around. Um, we can always change out for gas engines. They're faster, they have less friction. Um, or we can have it where the front wheels are, um, are electric and the back wheels are gas or something like that. Oh, there's a space needle. So we actually found a hill next to a space needle. And, oh, do it, do it, do it. Get fast enough. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not gonna do it. Oh, did it, did it? Oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, let's get up to the top of this hill without falling over anymore. This is a perfect place to make a home. So I think this is what we're going to do. Make a home here. Definitely let me know in the comments how what kind of house you want me to make. And uh, let me know if you want me to build onto this or if you uh, have any designs or ideas that you want me to try to make. I have a few that I already know that I'm going to make. And um, I hope you liked it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.